Neil Carlson uh, here on the phone with me, uh, Red Lake County Sheriff Mitch Bernstein. Uh, Eric Reinbold, the murder suspect, who's been on the run since July 9th, has been captured. Uh, when and where and how did this happen, Mitch? Uh, well, the U.S. Marshals have been up here uh, working pretty diligently on this uh, apprehension the last few days again. So, I mean, uh, the Pennington County Sheriff's Office and our office have been working with them. Um, they got a tip that he was uh, at a property that we've, you know, we've searched several times before um, in Red Lake County, basically um, kind of across County Road 1 from his parents' residence. Um, they had uh, the marshals had their team deployed and they were able to find him attempting to hide in the woods. Um, so he was uh, apprehended without incident and uh, turned over to the Pennington County Sheriff's Office and transported up to the jail in Peep River Falls. All right. So uh, U.S. Marshals found him? Is that when they were yep. searching? Yep. Yep. So, I mean, uh, you know, members of the Red Lake County Sheriff's Office, uh, Pennington County Sheriff's Office and BCA were on scene. Uh, you know, it was kind of a team effort, but the Marshals had their uh, special operations teams were the ones that actually went in the woods and, and were able right. to locate him. Were, did they have some special equipment that they saw him tonight? I mean, it's, you know, pitch black out in that area. It's, yeah, well, they got night vision and things like that that, you know, some of the, the local departments don't have. So, yeah, there's like a, yeah. a specialized unit that does this type of thing all over the country. So, um, And did, and that was, I know everybody's going to ask this. So did he have some type of bunker, Doug, or how did he escape being caught for so long? That area was searched several times. Yeah, well, I think he just, you know, when we were looking one place, he had moved, you know, by the time we got there, he moved somewhere else, and tonight yeah. we were fortunate enough where he, you know, he was caught on a camera and didn't didn't get that far from it when he was going to head down for the night, so that's how it worked out, so. Okay, so uh, basically, if you drove out of his uh, parents' yard, just going to straight south across the road down in that down in that area yep 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 just a little bit to the west yeah a little bit to the west and south of his parents place i think there's a bunch of beehives in there now or something yep to yep place. it would be uh, about a uh, quarter mile west of those beehives is where well, okay yep. all right uh, yeah, kind of so good news for everybody for long yeah for sure for no it's and, definitely uh you know a weight off our mind, and uh, you know, uh, I think the the Oakley, Greater Oakley community, can rest easy knowing that he's been apprehended, and you know, uh, don't have to don't can put this chapter behind us. All right, a little I, easier. So, uh, did you were you able to see him at all? Uh yes, yes, yes. I'm just briefly. wondering how he looked. Um. I mean, not too bad for being out in the woods for a month, but, uh, you know, he, he seemed healthy and, and uh, everything like that. So, I mean. So, Eric Reinbold, murder suspect, is back in custody. He's suspected of stabbing to death his wife, Lisette, at their uh, home in Pennington County on July 9th. On this uh, August uh, 4th, he was captured near his parents' home south of there, near Oakley, Minnesota, and is now in custody. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.